Hey, welcome back. This is Pricoy channel. If you are interested in programming, digital nomad or productivity, just click down below on the button and then click on the bell. So you can be added to everything that we do over here. In today's video, we are going to talk about WordPress rewrite rules and how to create a routing system in WordPress. So this is a very use case, uh, very common use case, and we are going to use it with user system. And the idea is to not use it in a plugin for, so I'm going to give you an example how it could be. I uh, think is I hope that it's going to be a pretty fun thing. So let's gonna code it right now. That we are going to create a kind of profile system for users. WordPress has its own system rewrites, um, and you can add some custom rewrites for it. The idea of this video is that we are going to add a couple of rewrites for using a new pattern and you can create your own routing system for it. Um, it's important that you keep in mind that this is just for testing purpose and you can add it to any other idea you want. I decided to use this profile because I know that there are many plugins around that uh, do not have uh, all the features that we would like. So this is just an example of how you can use it and how you can extend your own system because I like more, uh, I like it better just to do custom things than just simply installing plugins. So for this, we are going just to, I mean, I already created a totally empty, uh, totally empty um, team for, and we are going to have it over here. Uh, that's it, we write custom profile system, and this is not, in, this is not printing anything because I only have, um, index that's going to show a post and the functions where we are going to create the system. So what's the idea? The idea is that as long as I do something like a profile, Alejandro, it should show me some information about me and you can extend that for many metadata that you have. So uh, for that, the first thing that we need to do is just to add a custom rewrite for and that's gonna write it right now so the main function that you need to have on your hand for is add rewrite rules so the add rewrite rules it's uh it's going to let's see okay so the first thing is we need to add these actions to the init And uh, let's say function. Give controls. Code. Right controls. There you go. And side here we are going to say right rules. So what is expecting this thing, okay? So let's go to the um, API docs for it and will be at right rules, WordPress. This is what it's expecting. So it's expecting a rejects, but it's a um, regular expression. Is it, I mean, it's going to change everything. Uh, it's going to receive a pattern of I mean, of um, numbers and um, and the letters, you know, and that is going to be changed to the new array, uh, the new argument that we are going to add to the system. So this is more or less how it should be. So this is something like a here profile slash a to c. I'm gonna leave this on. Um, GitHub because to be honest, I don't even know how, I mean, I'm not super good with uh, rejects, but well, hopefully it works for you. Slash and uh, question mark and dollar sign. And for that, we need to give to the WordPress the root that it's going to use. So if I receive a value over here, let me show you. So if I receive 
is over here. So it is going to say, hey, you know what? Whatever that happens after profile, which is what we have here, over here, I need to get that info and I need to pass it as a custom thing that I'm going to look at on WordPress. So for that, we set a rule over here and we set index PHP and we say profile matches one. And we are going to set to set to as top because whatever happens over there is going to overwrite whatever rule that it has. Okay. So let's see. So after that. We need to say, hey, you know what? For WordPress, profile is not a query bar. So query bar is something like this. So say that I add something like a try code equals rules. So for WordPress, this try code value, it doesn't mean anything. So it needs to be set and WordPress needs to understand it so we can pass the value that we have, okay? So for that, we need to register the query value for, and for, and we are going to use then the filter. So add filter, query works. And that's going to add an information here that says bright code. And this is going to pass as a filter, okay? And filter is a variables, let's see, 40 bars here. This is the this is the global query bars from WordPress. So what we are going to do is just to add a new query bars. And it's an array, and we add that as a profile. There we go. We then return, we then return the query bars value. And with this, we are turning to WordPress. Hey, you know what? Just whatever that profile says is a query bar forward. And this is the value that is going to get it. Okay. So let's see what happens. And I'm going to go here on the index. And let's say that I want to just simply say where you are. Okay, where you are. Profile. Okay. And uh, let's see what it prints. Let's just simply put an echo over here for the. Let's see what we get. So we can do something then. So Cyberbug rule, sorry for that. There you go. Let's try it again. Oh, that's it. So we are getting the value. So that's that's good. Okay, so for this value that we're passing here, what, what I want to do is just to pass a user, and that user is going to bring in information for the user. So let's see if we can create a function here. So break code. By profile, what you are. So, the same that we did here, we are going to then send this. There you go, this is the profile for, and we are going to just simply pass get user by slug. So, this get user by, you can pass the ID, the email, the slug. 
but in this case we are going to just send this lock port and this uh, profile and it's going to return the user and let's see if it's empty if it's not empty Just return empty user. Oh, you know what? That's gonna just simply return the user if we do it on the template form. So return user, and there we go. We get then the value from this. So okay, I'm just going to just bring those these two values so we can get an idea of what we get and we can continue with the information here to return this okay, let's do it prints. That's it, email, Alejandro and user login supervisor. So uh, let's uh, try to add a little bit more info for this so let's say that I can that I can add that user meta let's try to see if I can add a new value that we can understand how we can extend this because this is great uh, you can create many routines for this you can say something like a profile delete whatever profile update whatever you can create many panels similar to any to a uh, PHP framework using this routine system that you can add and create with the add the right rules. And that's the idea of this video because uh, this is just an use case that you can you can add but you can for example add movies if you want you can add you have you can have a site of uh, cats and uh, you can for example create your own uh, your own taxonomy for the cats different panels using the different routing system so this is this is pretty cool because WordPress allows you to create your own slash system you know similar to what we you can do on Laravel Rails or whatever so let's add it down to simply simple value here that you can get 
the idea of uh, let's see if I can add visual meta. Uh, okay, so add visual meta for the ID number one. Let's say private code video. over here with my WP shell always use it it's pretty great and I can for example add this here oh, I can, okay I can do something like a right word message and I can say get user ID user ID That's it. Hey guys. So we ended up creating a small routing system for WordPress using just the users of the system. You can extend it for more things if you want. It's a way better not to use a plugin, as I said, because with that you can just make it as custom as you want. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. You can also follow us on at Bright Coders on GitHub and LinkedIn, or you can follow me on my Instagram at Aldi Nomad. If you like the video, just give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.